Good morning, Chuck and Paige here in Udon Thani on this beautiful rainy day here. We've got one more night. We're headed to a new spot close to the airport. It's supposed to have a really nice rooftop pool. So I don't think we're gonna be able to enjoy it today. I'm not sure. We're gonna eat breakfast, head to Villa Market because it's right next to where we're at. Go do a little checking around and uh, I don't know what we're gonna do, but yeah, get Paige. <laughs> Paige's Tito vodka. Hopefully they have it there. That's like the only place in Thailand that has that. Anyway, let's go eat breakfast and we'll get back on the road. Normally they have, from what I've been told and what I've seen, they have a really nice buffet breakfast here. A lot of, a lot of our viewers have actually stayed in this hotel and everybody says this is one of their favorite places to come. Of course, I'll leave the link to this place in the description box of the video. Right now, during this time, there's nobody coming, so they're not, it's just kind of like, they got a couple of options. Today, I got the Vietnamese, what they call it, the UD something. I don't know, but it's, it's a, a, a Vietnamese noodle soup. And, uh, and then there's a, it's supposed to have been a Vietnamese sandwich, but the little, the, the Vietnamese type bread didn't show up. <laughs> That's what he said. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kai Kata, which is a, a pan fried egg with some Vietnamese sausage. Mm -hmm. And it's like a little Chinese sausage. It's a little sweet. But normally I like to just get that and like put it on toast and eat a sandwich and be done. Very excellent, huh? If you guys haven't subscribed to the No Time To Be Sad channel and would like to see more videos, don't forget to click that subscribe button down on the bottom. I'd really appreciate it. We've, we've been vlogging now for almost five years and we have a huge playlist of travel videos, and all kinds of stuff. If you just go to our channel, you can click on the little playlist and look at an assortment of all kinds of We've traveled almost everywhere in Thailand, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate that if you could do that now. And uh, also the No Time To Be Hungry, which more kind of concentrates on the eating part and the food, because food is probably one of the most important things in Thai cultures, really in a lot of cultures, but I really like to show like techniques of how to cook and certain specialty restaurants and stuff like that. So. Yeah, check out our other No Time To Be Hungry channel. Because there is no time to be hungry. It's still raining. Oh, I didn't see this one. We weren't supposed to hang our clothes on the thing. Oh, well, I didn't see that. Too late. <laughs> this was a very nice hotel. The bed was comfortable. Lots of pillows. Gigantic air conditioner. Everything was really good with this room. Definitely highly recommend staying here when you get a chance in Udon. Another place that was really nice that we stayed at once before was the Centara, which is, which is pretty nice too. And that's like right in the mall. There's the mall here. The only bad thing is they should have an access gate just to walk out and go right to the mall. But instead you have to go all the way around. But right out here, there's little tuk-tuks just waiting to pick you up or Samla or whatever you want to call them and they'll take you right to the mall. It's a really short walk. It may be a kilometer if that. So best thing to do is you're going to be walking around the mall anyway. Just walk there. I don't know what this room costs during normal times. I know a lot of people that watch my channel have stayed there. You guys can share that in the description box if you like. But if you want to know how to find the best deals anywhere in the world from the comfort of your own home. We made a video not too long ago that says how to find the best deals. And if you guys wanna check out that video, it'll tell you how to go online, find the specials, find the hotels, you can do the walkthrough. It'll even take you to where you can actually walk around the town and see what's next to the hotel, if there's a 7-Eleven or if there's whatever. And uh, I give you guys the tools in that video to show you how to do that. And if you like to travel anywhere in the world, it's a, it's an awesome tool. The only thing is they don't have a Google walk around on some of the islands because uh, 
you know, they couldn't drive around there. But sometimes if you click on like the hotel link and you want to zoom, if you want to look at the hotel on Google Maps, sometimes they'll have a walk around uh, the hotel area. So anyway, we're headed to Villa Market because it's still too early to check in. And uh, let's see what's at Villa Market. Deserted. Villa Market. I've taken you guys in here a hundred times. <laughs> so I don't know what more I can show you. If I see something special, I'll show you. But it's all basically the same. Sometimes there's a little bit of different stuff here. Ice cream. They have a lot of corn chips now, like a mm -hmm. whole section of corn chips and uh, hot sauces, picante, mild. I don't see spicy or hot. I don't like, I don't care for that anymore. Either. I've been craving bean dip, but I don't, there is none. This is all just, my, oh, look how expensive that is. Oh crap. <laughs> six, about $6 for that. Squeeze yeah, the squeeze bottle's better. Mm -hmm. That's made in Thailand. Actually, I don't know if he still watches my channel, but he commented one time about I could buy them direct from him. But anyway, these are made in Thailand. From a Falang, actually. I've never met him, just guessing. For my UK people, I'm sure you guys like this stuff here. Chorizo. I was gonna get that for Daz, but it's like 400 baht or something crazy for that to try it out. It looks pretty authentic. He'll, he'll have to come check it out next time. I'm pretty sure about almost every one of my udon videos ends up in this store. So if you guys really haven't watched many of my videos, just type no time to be sad udon and all of the videos from this area will pop up and there's a lot more other stuff that we've looked at in udon and you can see what it also used to look like when it was busy here those are pretty good if you want to empty your gut at a high rate of speed I did discover that, Liz, that uh, you can buy everything here, almost everything here on Lazada.com. If you go to the food section, you can actually find a Villa Market site on Lazada. And I tested it the other day and had some Frank's Red Hot sauce shipped to the house for, uh, uh, it was a lot cheaper than that actually. But you can get just about everything on Lazada if you don't want to make a trip all the way into Udon or Pattaya or where, not too many villa markets and just have it sent to your house for, for nothing. Here you go for some of my, some of my subscribers. They got Kool-Aid for you too. You can drink the Kool-Aid in Thailand. Put some vodka in there. <laughs> vodka. Mm -hmm. Make it taste better. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Tito's. Yeah, they have a huge selection of wine and spirits here. They don't like me to video in this aisle, so, but anyway, trust me, it's here. Okay, this looks interesting. We'll try this out. I've never tried it before. It's only 4% alcohol, but a uh, snowy wizen. Interesting. Never tried this either. We'll give this to the mafias. It's a Singha Reserve. I've actually never seen one of these before. That one looks really interesting. Feels pretty light. 
must be healthy. Mm. Grits. I've never tried this kind of yeast. I'm actually out of yeast, so I'm gonna get the little package. Mm -hmm. Not too bad of a price. Mm -hmm. I've never tried that. Mm -hmm. It's import. That's a. We'll just give this a try. Yeah. Yeast is yeast, right? This is what mm -hmm. they have in Thailand. It's Thailand yeast. People always say I can't find yeast in Thailand because it's in a crazy-looking bottle. It says perfect brand, mm -hmm. instant yeast. Some African peri peri. Mm -hmm. Sriracha hot sauce. Mm. I've been cooking breakfast at home, so maybe I'll just try this spray for the eggs. They have Crisco too. Like some Reese's cocoa puffs? Mm. I have a not doing it to me, but that's kind of high, right? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Mm -hmm. Interesting, but it's like 11 US dollars. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're gonna have a cage match. <laughs> <laughs> UD Town. All I got to say is Udon Thani is huge, very big, and it's right not too far from Nong Kai on the, um, on the Mekong River. Yeah. Udon's International Airport goes to a lot of places. They'll take you right to Phuket from here. A lot of places it goes to. Well, we have arrived, so let's go see if we can check in. Well, the eight-story hotel's got about, let's see, maybe three, maybe three customers. Our room's not ready. Yeah. So she said maybe 1.30. About 1.30. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's, that's the funny thing about Thailand. There's no sense of getting irritated about it. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it is. So mm -hmm. if they say check-ins at 1.30, then that's when check-in is at 1.30. So mm -hmm. I imagine they have more than one room, right? Probably ready. But. Okay, they came out here and said, no, our room is ready. So we were going to go meet up with a subscriber. Actually, he's calling me. Hang on. I mean downstairs, room 64? Room 64. Oh. But anyway, they said the reason why they wouldn't, they, they needed to disinfect the room. So everything's weird right now with COVID. So that's what happened. So they got it done and yeah, we're gonna go uh, put our stuff up and go eat. Here we are, room 64 on the sixth floor. Smells like they just sprayed it, huh? Yeah. You see, they have to spray everything. Mm. Okay. I've been told that restaurants like extremely expensive. What? Okay, here we go. Four pillows, very cool. Mm -hmm. Nice office type workstation desk thing. Couple of robes. Yeah. Some French doors. Oh, look at that. Ooh. I find this worthless, really, actually, you know? For me, anyway. It's not really a shower. Well, I guess, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can take a bath. All right, very cool. Actually, that's the airport right there. Great view of the airport. You can sit here and watch the planes come in. None coming in right now. Very few. You might have central. No, it's right there. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Our friend is here to take us to the restaurant. He's outside, but let's go take a quick look at the pool real quick. If it stays like this, we might be able to get in the pool here in a little while after lunch, huh? Interesting. We got a lot of leaves up here from that. And we can still come up here later, huh? <laughs> We're here at some place here, gonna have some lunch. I don't know what's going on inside yet. <laughs> Good, huh? I think they're all mm -hmm. covered. It smells good too. <laughs> I thought they looked like they closed about yesterday. Well, you can definitely tell that this hotel is foreigner friendly. Uh, it's got a little, a little bit different style to things, and the bed is super soft, mm -hmm. like really soft. I guess. Wasn't that the lady that took your money? I guess. I don't know. Dumb it okay. up. Sun's out and we're going to go get in the pool. Right now we're going to go next door. We're going to take a couple of COVID tests. Uh, they've got this thing. It's a... Uh, it's a home COVID test and uh, I'm going to go get a couple and I'm going to show you guys how to do the home COVID test and uh, I'm going to show you guys what to buy for the home COVID test and uh, yeah we're going to do that before we jump in the pool. If I had to guess I'd say this is a Falang house. There's a couple of deer heads there. So what Dick Hop? Okay guys we're going to take the COVID test. Now this test is not a hundred percent accurate actually it's not really that accurate so you're gonna have to do this test multiple times so um, what you've got to do first is you've got to get one of these beers get you a glass and then you can you can buy this kit i think anywhere in the world so you fill that one up there's two of us so we're gonna She's gonna do one and I'm gonna do one, so you take that and then you take the glass and then you, you smell it. It's gonna be like a yeasty kind of a smell. Can you smell it? Yeah. Take a sip. Now I taste a strong taste of beer. Do you? So we're gonna do this test a few more times tonight, but I would say it right now, I don't have COVID. I can, I can smell it and taste it, so. I think we're in the clear. Here's to COVID free. COVID test. <laughs> like a friggin' Kung Fu Panda. Alright, let's go, let's go take some selfies. Yeah. Let's 
Trump. Awesome. Look down at these houses down here. This is Asia. This would never happen in the West. Everything in the West has to be the same when you're talking about a community. But look down here. Is it chaos or what? Back over here, there's a lot of old style Thai houses. All these people here must be related to each other. It looks like they had one house in the middle and then they just kind of grew around it. I don't know what's going on with that little apartment complex. Well, the end of a beautiful trip. Got to swim a lot, huh? Our next adventure is back home, but uh, we've got to show Chelsea's new hotel and uh, spend the day, maybe a couple days in the Compagnon. Anyway, let's go downstairs. Well, we're gonna go out to the truck and get our emergency soup. Because we're not really hungry, so, but we have some noodle soup in the truck. I told Paige I was gonna go ask the lady what kind of sandwiches they have and make, if she can make me a sandwich. And, uh, she said, I might want to go, have to go with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. It's good to have somebody that has control <laughs> over your stupidness. I'm over here editing videos going, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna edit, I have to edit all that stuff out. I just yeah. can't, I can't do it. <laughs> mm. I can't just record it. Yeah, luckily it's not live, huh? Mm -hmm. I was gonna try <laughs> one of these pickles from that place, that whatever, that cheese something. But I don't know why it turned white. It's been in the truck for a day. I don't know what the hell happened here. Whoa. It's like bubbling. What the hell's going on there? That's weird. <laughs> I don't know if I should eat, if I should eat that. Your diary? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I've never opened a can of pickles that did that. Is it like foamed up or something? That's kind of strange. I don't know. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. It's kind of got a weird smell to it. Mm -hmm. That's very weird. Let me let it calm down. That's weird. I'm gonna Google it. I don't. I've never seen that. I'm gonna Google it. I don't know what I can Google. Let's see. How about? How about why? are my pickles foaming <laughs> when I open the jar? Question mark. It is absolutely normal for lactoferment for <laughs> Lacto fermented pickles to produce carbon dioxide. That is precisely how the process works. Heto <laughs> fermentative lactic acid bacteria consume sugar and produce lactic acid as well as is it safe to eat? A smaller amount of ethanol and carbon dioxide. It's got a pretty small, I mean a pretty like intense kind of smell. Can I eat it? Maybe I should have typed that in. They don't have a spoon. 
<laughs> okay, it says, yep, totally normal. I kind of love it when I get fizzy pickles, especially kimchi, but some people totally hate it. Either way, it's just the CO2 created during fermentation dissolving into the water in the pickles. When you eat them, the gas <laughs> gets released from solution and causes the effort effervent effer eff <laughs> I don't know. Let's eat a pickle. This is strange. This one's kind of soft though. Mm. Not crunchy. Eatable. Mm. <clears throat> that one's really soft. Mm. Actually, I think they're all soft. Mm. I like my pickles crunchy. Me too. Sure it's still good? I'm not really sure. <laughs> mm. You know what? I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, I don't want to be. Yeah, on the road. I'm not gonna eat that. Yeah. Don't get me his food. The seasoning is very good though, very like tangy, spicy. It's a shame. Now I was really looking forward to eating a damn pickle. Now it's over. Maybe I can drain some of that shit out and maybe find a good one in there. Mm. I'm not eating. I'm not eating that. That's weird. I, I drained the juice out and they're all kind of soft. So. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe I picked up a bad one. Mm -hmm. Or maybe being on the hot truck caused that. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. We'll get maybe all the fermentation. Okay, we'll just try this, nice which will be better. Oh, yeah. You have to mix it. Well, it looks like that restaurant's open. Mm -hmm. I see a couple of cars down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to go buy some ice? Why? Oxy pad. Where? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our little udon trip. We got to get back home in the morning and see Mafia. I'm sure she's missing us. <laughs> How many times has she called? Just a couple. Damn. Anyway, gonna get home. It looks like it's raining a lot back home, so I don't know what we're gonna do. We've got to, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're gonna do. Nothing. Mm -hmm. If you like the video, don't forget to click like subscribe we will see you guys tomorrow on the way home bye